Hey guys, it's me, Pro Woods. Welcome to the, the Pro Woods show where we're going to be packing for my first road trip. I'm very excited and we're going to be going to a cool place and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But before I tell you that, I'll tell you that I ride with a group and we were supposed to go to Colorado this year. Unfortunately, I had some medical issues pop up and a lot of big bills, but due to my greatness of being who I am and my amazing and supportive parents, um, me and my dad are going to be going to Ontario. We're going to Canada, Niagara Falls, 4th of July. Uh, he's going to be leaving tomorrow night. I'm leaving Thursday. I'm going to take the whole Thursday, 4th of July. I'm coming all the way to Canada. Now that I'm thinking about it, the traffic might not be the most fun, but we will make it work regardless. This is the beauty that I'm going to be doing it on. She's my 2001 Yamaha Royal Star Venture. She's about two years older than I am. And uh, over the last two and a half thousand miles, I've really gotten to know her. Um, did my oil change on her, shaft fluid change on her. Got the carbs looked at, got the fueling checked out. I added the seat. My first modification to a vehicle ever was the... Uh, stock plus seat I got. I'll link them in the description. They were super sweet and I appreciate them so much for it. They were really nice and got it out to me really fast. But yeah, I'm going to show you how I pack. I'm not going to tell you how to pack, but I'm going to tell you how I pack because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of great insight. I'd love to hear from you guys how you went about packing for a road trip like this. It's about, uh, from Chicago, it's about 600 miles. I'm going to do another 700 going home because I'm going to do, instead of coming back, I'm going up through Michigan, and then I'm going to be coming back through New York and Pennsylvania, Ohio, so, and Indiana, so it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a great, a great trip for me to make, um, I'm doing it solo, technically, because obviously I'm going to be meeting my dad in Ontario, instead of, uh, well, in Niagara, instead of him being with me for any of it, so solo trip, I'm super excited. Um, I haven't done more than three and a half hours in one stint, but that was on Izzy, who's over there. Hi, Izzy. She has no windshield, no bags, no nothing. I was wearing a backpack the whole time. No, yeah, nothing. So she's going to be great. She's got cruise control. She's got uh, a hazard button, which I love and I've never had. She's got a tour pack. I've got speakers. I've got Bluetooth. I've got a phone charger on my phone mount. I'm, I'm really excited, but let's... Let's not get into that too much. You'll hear more about that on the trip itself, which is going to be its own slew of videos or video, depending on how long I want to do it. But we're going to start with fundamentals. What do you need to get to Canada? Well, A, you don't want anything you shouldn't be bringing, right? You want your passport, you want your ID. So I'm going to throw my passport and stuff in there at the end. For now, I want to get to close because I'm leaving on Thursday. So Thursday to Friday. Friday to Saturday, Saturday to Sunday, coming home on Sunday. So I need to pack for the four days, three days that I'm gonna be out. So I've decided to Canada and back. And so we're gonna go through those now. Um, I'm sure I should probably be packing these in like a bag of some sort. Um, but I've got five pairs of underwear, three pairs of socks, cause you always wanna carry one extra pair of everything in case you need it. Um, you should be folding stuff in there too, so let me go ahead and do that before I get yelled at. Uh, I just realized my jeans aren't here. But I'll have, oh, my jeans are here. But as far as pants go, actually, you know what? Let me, uh, let me do this the right way. So these are the jeans I'm going to be leaving with in the morning on Thursday. Um, they're my thermal jeans, if you remember them from the winter time. I'll also have a pair of blue riding jeans here. Um, those are going to be the first thing. Let me roll those up, throw them in here. You always want to pack the stuff you're not going to need instantly in the lower bag. And this is something I learned from watching another YouTube video. Very appreciative of uh, that guy for telling me. Wish I had his name, I'll try to find it for you. But they tell you A to roll your clothes so you can fit more in there. That's pretty common. But they all, he told me that the bag that's easily accessible is the bag you want to have your stuff in. So actually, in my case, even though this bag is lower, this bag's a little bit easier to reach because the way the uh, bag opens up. So I'm actually gonna pack them in this bag here. But yeah, roll, I'm gonna throw that in there. So I got a pair of jeans here first, and then I'll have a dress shirt 
which I will obviously not need for the ride, but I'm going to need when I get to Canada. I want to start going to a casino or something. Um, this one's a super light shirt, so I can kind of just roll it in there as well. Um, I've got a tank top for when it gets really hot, so I'm going to throw that in there as well. I've got a pair of shorts for when I want to wear a pair of shorts, so I'm going to throw that in there as well. I'm going to have a swimsuit slash second pair of shorts for when I want to go swimming. I'm going to throw that in there as well. And then this is going to be my rain jacket here. I think for the jeans, I'm just going to have a pair of jeans, but this is my rain jacket. This is by R-E-A-X. Rex. Rex. I got this at Cycle Gear for about $60. I don't think I'm going to use this in the morning. I don't think I'll need it. Um, but I'll throw it in here just in case. So that's going to be what I'm wearing. I also have this. This is my reflective, my version of a reflective visor. I have a, uh, I have one of these standard, you know, neon green reflective vests. But when I try to wear it, um, because it only patches down about three inches of Velcro here, it tends to fly around a lot in the wind. And so this, which I got, this is Nike. I got this from a Burlington Coat Factory probably eight years ago, wore it once. And now I wear it religiously because this whole back side right here and the whole front side is reflective. So no, it's not neon or, or green, neon orange. It's not one of the better colors, but it is fully reflective. So at least I have a little bit more visibility on the road there. And I think it looks a little more stylish, but safety is more important than anything. So those are what I'll be wearing. Again, as you guys saw, I have my undies. I don't know if I should be packing these on camera or not. You guys get to see that I wear exclusively Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein and then a pair of California undies I got from uh, Mexico. Anyway, um, socks are going to go in there as well. So I'm actually going to throw all my clothes in this bag here. For the sake of the video, I'm going to throw my other stuff in here as well so you can see kind of my thought process I want to make sure everything I have can fit in my bags now and still have room for a helmet um, so I got that going on there now if I can bring this camera up to show you guys around back I've got all my clothes fit in all of the clothes fit in this side so obviously I'm gonna be able to pack these in super tight there's a lot of room up here so I can actually probably fit all of this in my bag on half of a bag. And this is for three days. So you really want to pack light. That's one of the biggest things I was told. So I'm packing super light. I've got two pairs of pants. I've got two pairs of shorts, which you definitely don't need, but I've got two pairs of pants, five underwears, three socks with the pair of, obviously I'll be wearing then, um, t-shirt, tank top, and then I'll have my colder riding rainy gear in here, as well as, as you guys can see, a little spoiler. I'll have my gloves in here. These are my wet riding slash cold gloves. So I'll have those in my cold bag as well. Although, honestly, I'm probably going to want to just throw them in here. So I've got my cold gloves in there. I'm also going to carry not only one, but two pairs of clear goggles. Um, these are not mandatory, but in case for any reason my helmet gets misplaced, lost, or stolen, I'll have these. Um, I got these from Cycle Gear, about 10 bucks a piece. These will make it so that I can at least ride legally with that on. Obviously, you do need a helmet in Canada, but to get to a store with a helmet, I will have that. So that's one thing. Um, I'm also going to be bringing this. So this is super, super important. It's going to be hot out. It's going to be hot out. It's going to be hot out. And so I decided to go ahead and go to Dick's for $20 and pick up a two liter water bag. This I'll actually have strapped right here to my trunk or to my passenger seat because I won't have a passenger. This is gonna strap right here so that when I need water, I'll have water accessible on tap. It's supposed to be pretty hot the whole weekend, upper 80s. So I wanna make sure that I'm hydrated because that's one of the most important things for riding in the summer, stay hydrated so i'll have two liters of water i've tested this thing out it keeps water cold for two days um again i'm not going to be doing more than one day of travel in a day i might split up the route home from niagara into a uh six hours to columbus and six hours home but for the initial trip i'm only going to take one route 
This is a lifesaver and it was only $20. So if you don't have a cup holder, get one of these. I prefer this just because you could hold two liters of water in it and not soda. But that's just me trying to stay healthy. On top of that, I'll be having the shoes that I'm going to be wearing on the ride. A pair of Doc Martens just because I want the style. And I'm tired of wearing Timberlands everywhere as well as a pair of slides I'll have in there. So I'll actually... Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to be taking up quite a bit of space. So let's start planning on where I'm going to throw this stuff here. So the slides, I'm not going to need instantly. So the slides can go in with the clothes right there, as well as um, just some leftover stuff. This is a hairnet I'll be wearing with the helmet to keep it clean. So that'll go in the trunk. I'll have my charger. So I'll have two backup chargers because three is probably a golden number I want to reach. Um, I'm going to have my deodorant in here, all my toiletries. So I'm bringing razor, cologne, toothbrush, toothpaste, face stuff, more face stuff, aquaphor, cologne, everything. I'm going to probably throw in here as well. Actually, you know what? This is quick release. I need this for the quick release. So I'm going to throw this in this bag right here. But for now, I'm just going to pack it all right there. Make sure when you're packing your bags, you have even weight distribution. This doesn't look very even to me right now. So I'm going to look around and see, okay, hey, there's all my technology. I have an iPad in here. I have another phone in here. I have a speaker in here. I've got a lot of stuff that keeps me safe. I want to make sure that this goes in the trunk for the least vibration, but I do want to have it in the bag at the same time. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is grabbing my jacket here using this as a dampener like that and then taking all of my electronics and throwing them in here because this weighs probably six pounds in it of itself make sure it's upright and then this should still be able to close packed it properly nope oh okay oh it does close so there you go all my technology and everything is in here, all nicely wrapped so it's protected from vibration. All my clothes, toiletries, stuff like that is in here. I've got some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I've got some medicine, so it's just some Tylenol, I'm going to throw that in there. I've got my sunglasses, throw that in there as well. Um, shoes, obviously, not going to need. Belt, obviously, I'll wear when I'm on the trip, so don't necessarily need to pack that. But there is one last thing that I want to make sure I have, and that's a battery tender. I don't have a portable battery bank. If one of you guys wants to send me one of those, that'd be awesome. But for the time being, I have the tender that came with the bike. That's just to make sure in the greatest, utmost emergency, if I can't get a jump or anything like that, I'll at least have a way to find a wall to charge it with. I don't know, but it's there just in case someone else has a wall charger. I don't know. That's a very in case because you don't want to jump a bike with a car because it's too much current, whatever. Last but not least, my helmet. Which I love so, so very much. This is the LS2 Advent 10. Seems like everything I'll need, right? My essentials, my toiletries, and yeah, those are essentials. Clothes to last me the whole adventure, but not too many. Um, my tender is my only really form of safety. Um, I might get some hazard triangles, like some reflective hazard triangles in case something goes wrong. Um, I've got extra chargers. I've got a portable charger in there as well. I've got a speaker in there as well. I've got a whole bunch of stuff just crammed into these two small bags. I guess they're not small, they're full size, but two bags and I've got crash bars on them. So in case anything goes wrong, my stuff should be moderately protected to a certain speed, right? But that's pretty much how I'm packing my bag. I'm going to do this all in one big take. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys will definitely see a video. Hopefully, if I can get around to editing it of my trip to Canada and back, I'll try not to record 3 million years worth of footage. But since I don't have a uh, helmet uh, strap for the for the GoPro or the, the DJI, sorry, since I don't have a helmet lock for that, I don't know how much POV riding I'd actually be doing. So it might make it a little bit of a better trip to uh, record for you guys. If you enjoyed me, uh, a fresh 21 year old male on an 870 pound cruiser uh, i only probably weigh 130 leave a like on the video i am so excited guys this was my birthday present to myself for all the hard work i've done that was my birthday present to myself for all the hard work i've done but now i did even more work so i deserve an even bigger toy right um 
yeah, fingers crossed I make it there safe back, safe travels to me. And I hope you guys get to uh, see the video, enjoy it. Hopefully I can get some pipes on this thing soon, but for the time being, she's stock and pretty as all could be. I will see you guys in the next video. I should have another video coming out soon about another two-wheeled vehicle I might have bought. So I will see you guys in a different country. Peace.